According to all known laws of aviation, I just accidentally. <laughs> you messed up on the first line. No, I didn't mess up. I accidentally just zoomed with my mouse. Board. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a beak should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its little fat body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because bees don't care what humans think is possible. Yellow, black, yellow, black. Oh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little bit. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming! Hands on a second. I mean, hang on a second. I'm retarded. Hello? Barry? Adam? Can't, why does the O... Why do oh my god, I just realized that too. The O... Yeah, the O's so, are C's. Uh, the C's <laughs> what if you accidentally read it as like O-N? Oh, you believe... Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's your graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All Bs. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going on here. I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. What's the, What are they even talking about? Like, I'm really confused as to what the scene is. Wave to us. We'll be in a... We'll be in a row of 118,000. <laughs> I'm so tired. Wish I wasn't tired when I was reading this. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? What? A little special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days high school. Three days grade school. Three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the high. You didn't. You did come back different. Ah, uh, this is already bad. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Artie, growing a mustache. Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everyone knows. Sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a such a hot head. <sighs> I guess I could have just gotten out of the way. I love this inco incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why that's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite <laughs> quite a bit of fun <laughs> under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished be distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean Buswell. That's the worst name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Welcome, New Hive. New Hive. Uh, oh yeah, the older. New Hive City, graduating class in 1915. 9:15. <laughs> I don't know why it's the 1915 to be honest, but um, do you get it there? <laughs> like nine o'clock. Yeah. Ah, that concludes our ceremonies. Ah. And begins your career at Honex Industries. <sighs> Will we pick our job today? <laughs> You're barely breathing. Huh? I know. <laughs> I'm really tired anyway, that's the thing. <laughs> You're already tired and, we, and we're not even... No, I mean in general. We didn't even do one-fourth of the script. <laughs> Maybe even one-eighth? We're about like three centimeters into the search <laughs> bar, so That's That's the start. Yeah, and we're making progress. Orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands, antennas, and inside the tram at all times. Wonder it'll, what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honix, a division of Hansko, whatever that says, and a part of Hexagon Group. That is it? Wow. 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 <laughs> we know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to this point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins with our valiant pollen jocks bring our nectar to our hives. Our top secret formula, it automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contour contoured God dang. into the smoothened white syrup. It is distinctive golden glow, as you know, as honey. That girl was hot. What? She's my cousin. <laughs> she is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. Uh, Honix, <laughs> we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing our new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Ah. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. 
if only I knew how to pronounce like any of this. What does that do? Catches that little strand of honey. By the end of this, I'm gonna I'm gonna start reading. Oh, you're gonna start reading what? I'm gonna be reading oh C's as O's and Catches that little strand of honey that hangs. Why is that a paragraph? Whatever. Catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can anyone work with on the Krillman? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's when it's if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job for in the rest of your life. I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? Well, sure try. Well, that blew my mind. <laughs> oh my god. This script is so bad. Like, I, I think I know why this is a meme, to be honest. It's just so stupid. <laughs> like, what? Is, what's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's insane choice. That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now that we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on the on earth. You'll ever think that maybe things work a little too, a little. Okay, I need to reread that. <sighs> you ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear my gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. What? It's please clear the gate. <laughs> yeah, please clear my gate. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said please clear my gate. <laughs> like, oh, dude, my eyes are like dying right now. Like, yeah, I have to turn on uh, flux. No, no, that's not the reason. I mean, in general. I'm no, I mean I have to before before I go blind. Why don't you just turn on your light in your room? I did. Oh. <laughs> but Adam, how could they? Oh. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jars. Wow. I've never seen them this close. Wait, I need to scroll down. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. <sighs> you guys did great. You're monsters. You're, you're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day is not planned. Outside of the hive, flying who knows where. Doing who knows what. You can't just decide to have a pollen, to be a pollen jock. You have to you have to be bred for that. Right. Look, there's no there's more pollen than you. Ah, look, there's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. I just got a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Why did I just say it's, <laughs> it's just got a status yeah. symbol, my god. I think you're going blind. You can't even see what it says. My my screen's so bright. I know. Mine that's why I turn on flux. Because my screen was also bright. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies. Aren't they our cousins too? Distant. Distant. Look at these two. Couple of hive hairies. Let's have fun with them. It's it's most the dangerous. It must be the dangerous. <laughs> must be dangerous being yeah. a pollen jock. Yeah. Once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. A bear? <laughs> oh my god. Wouldn't that like absolutely crush you into like a little, little like, whatever. whatever. <laughs> Alright. He had a, he had a paw in my throat and with the other, he was slapping me. Okay, a bear slapping me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Hashtag relatable. Knock him out. <laughs> 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 that was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Hashtag relatable. What were you doing? What were you doing? To, what were you doing doing this? I was already tired today. Why do you? Why, why, do, you, why do you do this? Trying to alert the, the authorities. I cannot unwrap that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. 
We're hiding a sunflower a sunflower patch six miles from here below. I mean tomorrow. What? <laughs> Hold on, what did below? you say? Where did I get below from? <laughs> from, here <laughs> from here below. Six miles, huh? Barry! A puddle jump for us. But maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. You're going What? You're going zero nine zero zero at the J gate. Alright, what do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be B. <laughs> it all depends yeah, that was on funny. What zero nine hundred means. Hey, Honix, Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored of doing the same job every day, son? Let me tell you about steering, stirring, stirring. Sorry, my bad. You grab the stick and you just move it around. And you stir it around. Wait, so you grab that stick? Shut up. <laughs> Come on. Seriously. Read it correctly. I'm actually the one reading. I'd, I'd be like already done if I was reading this in my head. Is that just me? Or are you also like that? Like you read better in, in your head. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother reading this at all. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dan, that's more than... The more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. Wait, I need to scroll down. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure what he wants to do... What he wants to go into, honey. Oh, wow, that was the stupidest pun I've ever heard in my entire life. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. What? What? You're going into honey. What? 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 Our son, the stirrer. You're gonna be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. No one's listening to me. Wait till you get the sticks. Wait till you see the sticks I have. Oh my god. <laughs> I could say anything right now. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. <laughs> Shave my antenna. Shack up with the grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everyone dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will. I'm literally an inch into this. Oh, oh my god. You can do it. We're starting <laughs> like a couple hours later. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be done. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt be, pouring stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still is is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What did you what do you get? Picking crud out. Oh, what? Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance you're getting in the Krellman? Krell sure. You're on. I'm sorry. The Krellman just closed out. Wax monkey's still open. The Kelman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Maker makes an opening. See, he's dead. Another one. Another dead one. Ah, deady, deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunt bee, pourer, stir, humming, inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe, stripe supervisor. My Wrangler, Barry. What do you think I should bury? Barry. Mm. All right, we've got the fu we got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out where? Out there. Oh no, I have to before I. There's so many commas and periods and explanation points and questions. <laughs> this has too much punctuation. I'm reading this like, like, what happened? Where are you? Like, what? This is <laughs> yeah. 
Out there. Oh no. Huh. Wait a second. To work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Corrine Deli on 83rd. Ah, that gets roses today. Why is that a separate paragraph? <laughs> so stupid. There's a Corrine Deli on the 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid that we saw yesterday? Hold on, son. It's flight. Flight text express restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, aren't are you? Sign here, here, and initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain, so be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I've got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. What? Murphy's in a home because of it. Babbling like a... Of oh, cicada. Yeah. Yeah. Babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder of for you rookies, be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch position. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you ready for this hot shot? You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wait, hold on. Why is there a comma between you ready for this and hot shot? That's that's one. <laughs> oh my god, this is written so poorly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wind, check. Antenna, check. Nectar pack, check. Nectar, what the heck? Wings, check. Stinger, check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias. What? Pound those petunias. You striped them, suckers. You right striped stem suckers. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. That is the best line I've ever heard in Oh my god, this has to be a quote. Found those petunias, you striped stem suckers. Found those petunias, you striped stem suckers. That doesn't I sound like guess. something that would be in uh, B movie. <laughs> I never if paid attention. If only you loud. paid attention to the dialogue. Uh. <laughs> okay, continue. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. Oh my god, I'm like an inch and a half in with the scroll bar. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. What? So blue. I feel so fast and so free. Box kite. Wow. Flowers. This is a blue leader. We have roses. This is blue leader. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses. 30 degrees, Roger. Bring it around. Standing to the side, kid. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a big of a, it's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Nectar collector. <laughs> Ever see p pollination up close? No, sir. I pick some. Po I pick some pollen out here. Sprinkle it over there. Maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? A little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's a pollen power. More pollen. More flowers. More nectar. More honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up. Lot of, lots of bright yellow. Could be could be daisies. But we need those. Don't we need those? Copy that, that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. This is on the line. This is on the line. Uh this is the coolest. What? This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm li I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy, chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet love, Lord of Bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem, guys. This could be bad. Affirmative. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You are the. You are way out of position, rookie. Coming in the, at it like you were a missile. Help me! I don't think that these are, these are flowers. Should we tell them? Ah, 
I don't think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're not, you're about to eat it. Yowzer! Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back there. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him. Granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in the rain. Can't fly in the rain. Can't fly in the rain. Mayday, mayday, be going down. <laughs> this yeah, is so dramatic. Yeah, we can just play the movie and you'll do all the voices. Wait, Matash, honestly, I think I'm pretty good with punctuation and like expressing it, honestly. Yeah, I'm trying to like <laughs> entertain myself with this. Right Wait, what are you doing right now? You're I was just looking at my phone movie. looking at the Instagram. <laughs> That's Ken, how you, Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my my new re my new resume. What? I made it into a fold out brochure. You see, fold out. Wait, Matosh, are you listening to me or not? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Wait, then what did I just say? Well, I mean, not the second. Oh, okay. Oh, no. More humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This drapes. This is diabolical. It's fantastic. Oh, it's fantastic. It's oh, that's where the name comes skills, from. Even my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars. Nah, I don't. I don't go for that kind of stuff. Why is that? Why is that? Different paragraph, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I just like. I don't go for that dot 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 kind of stuff. What? <laughs> no wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out. They're out of their minds. When I leave jo a job interview, they're flabbergasted. I can't believe what I say. That's the sun. Maybe the maybe that's a way out. That's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big seventy-five on it. On it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B, stand back. The, these are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to him. This thing could kill me. Why does, he, why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have less value than mine? It's, is that your statement? I'm just saying I'm like two inches in. Oh. What if you like don't take a single breath and at the end you just like pass out? It's like seven inches and I'm two in. Actually, that's not bad when I say it like that. What is his? Okay. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic little. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is only a special skill. Bye bye. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt tonight? Sure. Ken, you know, whatever. <laughs> Morco. How do you feel? You are, trust me, you are not looking forward to your turn. Uh, yeah, I doubt I will. You could put karab chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here it goes. Nah. Nah. Okay. <laughs> here goes. Nah. <laughs> here it goes. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a bee law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh God, I can't do this. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How? How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's not good. That's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming. I know I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very di disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're you're you are a bee. I am. I'm not At the end of this, you'll probably be like. <laughs> I will be dead. 
I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all... They were all trying to kill me. And even if it... And even if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. This is... That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking with a bee. And this bee is talking to me. I just want to see I'm grateful. I will... I'll leave now. Wait. Did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mom, mama, dada, honey. You pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with it, and we'd have to deal with... Uh, anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? Uh, I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, would you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. What the hell's rum cake? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple of, a couple of micrograms. <laughs> oh my god. This movie's writing is actually really good. It's just terribly good. Yeah. I don't know how to say that, but you know what I mean. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making he's making the tie in the cab as if they're flying up Madison. It finally he finally gets there. He runs up the steps to the church. The wedding is on. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Glottermelon. <laughs> Oh my god. Why are you marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? <laughs> that That's the kind of thing we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to... I want to do my part for the hive. But I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor. But I wanted to be a florist. Really? Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen is, was just elected by the same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way. I know that area. I've lost a toe right... I lost, I've lost. i lost a toe ring right there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. Wait one sec. No way. I know that area. I lost. Never mind. Uh, it's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. Oh my god. You all right, ma'am? Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did. I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you? Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. Well, my mouth is so dry, actually. Sure. Have a crumb. Thanks. Uh... Alright, well then. I guess I'll be seeing you around. I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again. For before? Oh, yeah. Oh, that. That was nothing. Well... Not nothing, but anyway. But anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans. I can't believe that. You, I can't believe you. You were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat giant. Crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try to kill you? Like on TV? Some of them. Some of them. But some of them. But some of them don't. How do you get back? Poodle. Who did it? And I'm glad to see whatever you got. You wanted to see. And I'm glad you saw whatever you wanted to see. Ah. You had your experience. Now they. Now they. 
Now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? She, was she beish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know. It's the hottest thing with eight legs. It's not. It's the. This sentence makes no sense. Uh, what sentence? I know it's the hottest thing with eight legs and all. <laughs> Never mind, it, it does. I thought it said it's not. I know it's the hottest thing with eight legs and all. I can't, I can't get back. I can't get by that face. And who is she? She's human. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a bee law. <laughs> you wouldn't break a bee law. Her name is Vanessa. Oh, boy. She's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no. You're dating a human florist? We're not dating. You're flying. You're flying outside of the hive, talking to humans and attack that attack our homes. With power washers at M80s, one-eighth. This a stick of dynamite? What? Wait, what? <laughs> I really don't want to read this. I'm, I'm tired just listening to this. This script is so bad. <laughs> Murko, Help why did you suggest this? Wow, your voice just is the craziest thing ever. What? Yeah, you just went full on robot. All right. I was saying, why did she you suggest this? She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinging, stripy. <laughs> and that's not what they eat. That's not what falls off. From... That's not what falls off. What they eat, you know, what Cinnabon is. Do you know what a Cinnabon is? No, it's a bread. It's a bread. <laughs> It's a bread and cinnamon with and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down, really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but we can. Who can we deny? The heart that is yearning. There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have to. You have to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. I don't know what your problem is, Barry. I gotta start thinking B. I gotta start thinking B? How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've been... I've got a lot of the bug of the big life decisions to to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a beat. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin <laughs> Would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything. All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be, don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa. <laughs> You're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why does he yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. We're going. Where are you going? I'm meeting up with a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's. Be-ish. My mouth is starting to hurt. I bet. Rip, my mouth is getting a workout. <laughs> there, they have a huge parade. Of flowers every year in Pesenda. What? To be a tournament of roses. That's every florist stream. Up to a float surrounded by flowers. Crowds cheering a tournament. Do the roses complete in athletic, in athletic events? No. All right, I've got one. How come you didn't, you don't fly anywhere? It's exhausting. Why do you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. All right. Your turn. Tivo, you can just freeze live TV. That's insane. 
You don't have you don't have that? We have Hivo. But it's a disease. It's horrible. Horrible disease. Oh my, dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try to we try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper. Very carefully. <laughs> Kick a wall. Take a wall. Hold on, I need to just take a break real quick. Notice how I'm slowing down. <laughs> Write an angry letter, letter and throw it out. Work together. It's like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah, what's wrong with you? It's a bug. Bug in the system. <laughs> it didn't actually say that, but... He's not bothering anyone. Get, get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick in save circular. What? Yeah, it was. How do you know? It felt like about ten pages. Seventy-five. It's pretty much our limit. You've got. You really got that down. <laughs> oh my god! I don't even know what like what's going on Science. anymore. This, this is really starting not to make any sense. Before yeah. I kind of knew what I was what was happening. Like. <laughs> They were doing this operation to get pollen or whatever, and one of them went into a car, and the other one saved him. But what the heck is going on now? <sighs> <sighs> I thought sh I'm like uh, three fourths the way done, so it's almost your turn. Oh my god! <laughs> now I have to suffer. Oh yeah. Ah! <laughs> But Dallas, what are you doing? <laughs> Just sitting here. <laughs> Let's just uh, wait. I'm gonna let me just take a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, like when you like read a book, you think that, like you see every O as a C. It's because books, they actually make sense, so they have real sentences instead of commas after every word, and periods after every... Hold on, look the link for the, for the script website, look the last word. Seinfeld. Seinfeld? <laughs> huh? Seinfeld? Oh, Seinfeld, never mind. <sighs> I lost a cousin to an Italian vogue. I'll bet. What in the name? I really wish Mighty Britain would Mighty. just come. What in the name of Mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Audi B, Gold Blossom, Ray, Ray Lilota, Private Select. To see that actor, I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people. We eat it. You don't have to enough. Should I like not even enunciate the the punctuation? Cause that yeah. I just want to read it, like honestly, and get it over with. How did this get here? Uh, is he that actor? Uh, real? Ray Liotta, Private Select. Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is he? Why is this here for people? We eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make it. It's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krell Krellman thing. It's organic. It's organic. <laughs> Says it's organic twice, I think. It's, ju it's just honey, Barry. Just what? Bees don't know. Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, school, hospitals, and this. This is all we have, and this is our sale. I'm getting this. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector, you almost done? Almost. Here he is. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something, so you can talk. I can talk, and now you're starting, and now you'll start talking. Never mind. I'm uh, now I'm at three fourths. 
<laughs> I'm literally just texting random people now. Who are you texting, Brandon? Something? Thank you. Does Thank you even have a phone? <laughs> yeah, he has one of those old <laughs> LG ones. He showed me it, and it was like one of those, um, even older than the flip phone. Nokia Lumia. It was one of those where it was like really small and the buttons were just there. <laughs> but I'm we're in high school and he doesn't have like a, like a real phone. Yeah, he's probably gonna be in college and he's gonna have like a flip phone. He's moving 10 years behind everyone else. He's in 2006. <laughs> yeah, 2020. Everyone's gonna have these good PCs and he's gonna have like a Windows he's XP. Have an iPhone 4. <laughs> he has a Windows XP PC. <laughs> oh my god. Because TV is like a CRT. You know, one of those old ones that are big. <laughs> That's his monitor. This is probably gonna be our most viewed video. Oh. And you owe me after it becomes the most viewed video. It's gotta pass some like 19,000 views though. It probably won't, never mind. You're too late, it's ours now. Yes, sir. I've crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana. Ishiano. What an iguana name. That's perfect. What is the honey? Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What a horrible thing has happened here. These faces. They never knew what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. <laughs> Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? <sighs> they will wipe everything, that, anything that moves. Where are, you, where are you heading? To honey farms? I am... I'm onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. Alright. Uh oh. What is that? Oh no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade. Triple blade. I mean... What? Triple this doesn't blade. make any sense at all. I know. It's just so stupid. Like when you listen to it, like try to comprehend what's going on. <laughs> I'm trying to. We need to play the entire movie with you, like doing all the voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jump on! It's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be doggone clean? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> doggone! No, we should live stream this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're rereading re this entire thing. <laughs> but this How time it's gonna be live. Need to see? How much yeah, do you need to see? Open your eye. I would like to. This this is the most this is the best experience of my entire life. Actually, I'm gonna live stream this right now. <laughs> We're just gonna no, no, do. No, no, no. I'm just joking. Yeah, like, why would we even live stream this? Why would it? Is the real question. I know, we should have live streamed this. We're we re after we're done with this, we're reading we're reading the entire thing again. Totally. This is the day in the life of <laughs> Day in the life of that voice crack. Yeah. What do you mean? The worst voice crack ever. Who? Oh my douse, you've got about like half an inch left until it's your turn. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Oh, Open yeah. your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News <laughs> in Washington, I'm Carl Cass Cassell. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. What? B. Moose blood guy. <laughs> you hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B boy? I'm trying to make sense out of this, but hey, blood. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hey blood, just a row of honey jars, <laughs> as far as the eye can see. Wow, I assume where <laughs> wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. it. I mean, their honey, their honey is ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. Hey, actually, don't mute your mic. I want to just hear your, hear you talking, so I don't feel that lonely. Yeah, hear me, <laughs> literally, like hit my head on yeah. the desk. Right. 
Just waiting for this you're, to. You're dying on the inside. All right, you ready? Yep. Keep going. I'm just. I actually just. I'm gonna post that on instant grammar. Oh yeah, do it. That, do it. That's gonna be your first post. <laughs> How many followers do you have? Three. Right. Oh, I need to share this with you. Mm. Hold on. There's this one uh, dank meme. I'm gonna follow Gabby. <laughs> That's my sister. Yeah, I know. Following five people. I have funny meme. Cowl of Duty. Trill Bar alone. This is a good meme. <laughs> what is? I haven't done it. No, don't send me it. Just DM me. Wait, I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah. Look, but look how you DM. Under the picture. I know how you DM. Room. Just yeah, look at this. Hey, my boy. There you go. Level tap to like. Oh, did you watch it? Watch it. And turn it on. Turn it on your speaker so I can hear it. Ah. Are you doing it? You got me. <laughs> Natasha, are you watching it? Natasha. Dang it, man. I hope that I... Okay, I was AFK. Well, really, I just took off my headset because someone was calling me. Look at the post I just... Alright, send it at... Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not going to do it at full volume. I'm pretty sure you can hear it more than well. You got me. Okay, the audio bugged out. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, the first time I've seen this, this was very funny. Yep, I like this post. Yep. At school. Oh. I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, the honey, that honey is ours. Please hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito is on its own. What if, what if you get in trouble? You a mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. They just smack. See a mosquito? Smack, smack. At least you're not, you're not out of the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up, get with a moth, a dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, they Not found, this is my f- about to leave the building. Burko. Stop sending me pictures. I posted a picture of my PC. There ain't no picture of your PC. Is it on your story or? No, iMessage. Oh, why? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, you can mouse, go on. Mouse blood is about to leave the building. <laughs> so long, B. Hey guys, mouse blood. This I knew doesn't I'd make any sense. Down there. <laughs> did, you, did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. You, they are pinheads. Pinhead. <laughs> Who you calling pinhead? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm dirty, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like. Check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one uh, you want? The, the Thomas 3000 smoker? 90 puffs a minute. Semi automatic. Twice the nicotine. All the tar. Vape Nate. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what I was thinking. A couple breaths of this knocks them right out. Wait, they give bees nicotine? <laughs> they make the. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money? <laughs> oh my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? 
That's a man and woman in women's clothes. That's a drag queen. <clears throat> I'm trying to make sense out of this. But what I just can't. This? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. See, I could read really well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually if there's one thing that I'm really good at is reading. Yeah. But only when things that I'm reading actually make sense and they're like in good they're written. <laughs> yeah, because now you're just triggered. I'm probably gonna read this worse but like, because I'll probably be triggered. There's hundreds of them. Be honey. Matosh, it's like about to be your turn. Oh boy. Can't There's wait. There's hundreds of them. Be honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans were taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. You're obvious, these are obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up with this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. And they make out. Make out? Barry, we do not. We wish you could. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this... This is what you want to do with your life? I don't want... I don't want to do the... I don't want to do it for all of our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you. Coming home so overworked, your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do you... Do they have to take to our honey? We live two cups a... We live on two cups a year. They put it in a lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's if it's true, what what can one bee do? Sting sting them when it really hurts in the face in the eye that would hurt. No, up the nose that's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. Only one place where it matters. Hive at five. The hive's only full hour action news source. No more bee beards. Oh boy, it's about to be my turn. Now I'm gonna be tortured. Wait, do you see it coming up? Yep, because I highlighted it. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't see it yet. Oh. Trust me, I'm not probably gonna. At the acre desk? Actually, I think I got a majority. <clears throat> yeah. I think I got a little tiny bit more than that. Weather with Storm Singer, Sports with Buzz Lavari. Or Janet, Janet Ohan. <laughs> it's it's Janet Chung. It's, it's, it's no, it's I think it might be Janet Ohan. Chung Bing Bong Ling Long. Ohan. Good evening. I'm Bob Bun Bumble. And I'm Janet Ohan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jerry Chung. <laughs> ching Chong Ching Chong Ching Chong Ching Ching. But what if I accidentally read all the C's as O's? Barry Benson intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it and profiting it, profiting it from illegally. Tomorrow night, in B. Larry King, we have three former questions here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies. Out this week at Hexagon. Uh, oh, I see it. I see it. Me too. Uh, oh boy. Tonight we are talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think I'm a kid from the hive? I can't do this. Bees have ever, have never been afraid to change the world. What about B. Columbus? That was the worst thing I ever heard. <laughs> B. Gandhi, B. Jesus. Where I'm from, we never sue him. All right. <laughs> you scratch. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm just gonna stretch out for a sec. I need to take a deep breath. Actually, no. Before you start, Matosh, I'm gonna stretch out. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a drink of water because my lips are dry. <laughs> You're probably like dead inside right now. Beer pick. Okay.
Matosh, I'm back. Oh boy. Are you ready? I guess. <clears throat> are you ready? Hold on, are you recording this as well? No, nope, you are. Yep, so three, two, one, go. We are thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you and has a, and has a show and suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses quotes on the bottom from the guest even though you just heard him. Bear week next week, they're scary, hairy, and here live. Always leans forward, pointy, sh <laughs> pointy shoulders, squint squinty eyes, very Jewish. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's what I needed to know, is that they're very Jewish. <laughs> In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She was 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage. I'm that. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. <coughs> Quiet, please. Actual work is g going on here. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello, hello, bee. This is Ken. <sighs> Yeah, I remember you, Timberland. Size ten and a half. Rembrandt soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, cause we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? <sighs> this does not make any like, sense at all. You're about like one millis you're about like one seven. Oh I know. Just one. I will not I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities. And it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon Beckets now. Those are great if you're free. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. <laughs> this. I don't even remember like like any of this like said in the movie. Anyway, nothing worse than a daffodil that has that's had to be that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for make up for a little bit. This lawsuit's a very pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm when I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, "Honey, I'm home," without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where the world anxiously, anxiously waits because for the first time in history we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee could act can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work up during the day. You think billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know, I just gotta chill. Well, if this isn't the B team, you boys work on this. All rise, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton Presding. All right, case number 4,475, Superior Court of New York. Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. 
a privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all of the bees in the world. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We're ready to proceed. Mr. Mon Montagomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. <sighs> Born on a farm, she believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived uh, in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what would happen. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my British yes. Talking B. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, it could be on steroids. <sighs> Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey is pretty important to me. It's important to all bees we invented it. Hold on, I'll just rest for a while. Oh, you were talking about, like, literally? Yeah. This does not make any sense. I know, right? Oh boy, how far? Oh my god. <clears throat> Hold on, where did I leave off? Um, there's no trigger here. <clears throat> I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey is pretty important to me. It's all, it's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us because we're the little guys. I'm hoping after all, this is all, all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus van der Hayden of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Hanron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, don't you? Or do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No? No. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. Very, very lovable creatures. Yogi, Yogi bear, Fozzie bear, Build-A-Bear. You mean like this? Bears kill bees. You, how would you like the his head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your fro pillows? Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrudes me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called the police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. <laughs> and so, here we have another, yet another example of bee, bee culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about stage name. <sighs> My god, we've been recording for an hour and five minutes. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> now I can see... <laughs> Now I'm finally experiencing the pain you felt. For over an hour. And Brayden w never came, my god. Yeah, what a piece of garbage. This is <laughs> why no one likes you, <clears throat> Oh please, have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. What? Or should I say Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? 
That's not his real name, you idiots. <laughs> Wait, is it? That's not his real name, you 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 idiots. Mr. Layara, first belated con congratulations on your Emmy win for our guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. This is so dumb. I see from I see from your res I'm guessing that's the resume that you are devilishly handsome with a churning I resume, I don't know. With a churning churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet it isn't. But is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless beasts so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow you blow right now. This isn't a good fellow. This is a bad fellow. <sighs> Why doesn't someone just step on this creep so we can and we can all go home? Order in this court. You're all thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it, Mr. Liotta, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing anything right, legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a good, to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Again, hello. <sighs> I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this time, all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it, heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right there. Ken Barry was looking at your resume or resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. What? <laughs> they didn't even mention resume. anything about. Yeah, resume. Sorry, uh, but they didn't mention anything about chop. What? Whatever. Nothing in this makes sense, so I'll just keep reading. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Uh, Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain that old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just had about with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. <laughs> Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember w what Van said? Why is your life more valu va valuable than mine? Funny. I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the small flames? Not as much. <sighs> Water bug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? <laughs> Surf's up, dude. This is such a waste of time. Marco, don't go. ever suggest something like this ever again. I am never doing th anything this like this ever thing. again. This is just the one thing, and we can both say that this is the th that we've done this before. Remember yeah, I'm just gonna say this is the dumbest thing I've ever this done in my life. It's valuable if you think about it. Because not, only <laughs> not really. Not only can we say that we read the whole B movie script, but the video is gonna get a ton of views. On <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud of it. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud. Of it. Because I'm just wasting my time reading this dumb script. 
<sighs> Poo water. <laughs> My god, I can't stand <laughs> That's this. The first thing you say. Oh, instant grammar. Hold on. I'm just gonna see what you posted. I didn't post anything. I'm just gonna see. When this. Right, but don't get sidetracked. Murka. <sighs> what is that? And Brady never got on. Thanks a lot. That ball is gnarly. Matosh. I have to finish this. When do you get back from Polish school? Uh, when? Like I always, like I told, I told you like many times, boy. You told me zero times. <laughs> Matosh, I have good memory. You gotta stop saying really that. Really? I told you. I told you. Yes, you did. Actually, yeah, you did. <laughs> boy. Nah, not every other time. Okay, anyway, except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Do you think that when you get back, you could just get on right away? <sighs> Maybe. Because we clearly did not get to record that tonight. Yeah, instead we're just reading a script of a B-movie. Probably the most random thing I've ever done in my life. But, one of my best accomplishments, also. Continue. You know, I don't even like honey. I just I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee <coughs> I've met in a long time, bless you. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there uh, are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life. And you're one of them. Fine, talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar free ar artificial sweeteners made by man. Sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste, I like it. <sighs> I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe this term, Togamari. It is out of ideas. Out. We would like to talk to Mr. to Mr. Barry Benson, B, to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Layton, you've got it. We've some magic with this jury. Or it's all going to be over. Oh my god. There's so much. No, there's still a lot. Don't worry, the only thing I have to do is to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Bensonby, I would like to ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What is exactly your relationship to that woman? Her friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, don't your doesn't your being qu queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate illegitimate bee, are you? But Benson, he's denouncing bees. Don't you all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pen caution this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. <laughs> the venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by a wing winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them with like equals. They're strip, striped um, savages. Stinging, stinging is the only thing they know. It's their way. 
Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? <sighs> I will have order in this court. Order. Order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal teams stung Leighton T. Mon Montauk Mary. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah. I, I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. We got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What is it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then, then ecstasy. All right, you think? Bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> it's adrenaline and uh, yeah, I realize that. <laughs> I'm just literally f so tired that I'm. <laughs> Boy, I'm like you, I can't even sp like speak properly. All right, you think it was all a trap? Of course, I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Let it <laughs> Look at us, we're, we're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound too bad. Adam, check. they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right, bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. Okay. That's it. That's our case. Is it? It's not over? Get dressed, I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done the step, you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamen, yes, yes, your honor. What, where's the rest of your team? Where, well, your honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly. <laughs> haphazardly and as a result we don't make a very good time I actually heard a funny story about your honor haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time how much longer will we allow these absurd shen shenanigans to go on they have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run legitimate legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal for of this entire case. Hold on, I'll stop for a minute. How's it going, Matosh? Fantastic. Hey, what is the last word that you said? I mean, the last like couple of words. Uh, business. Who run legitimate businesses? <sighs> okay. Hey, to be fair, you have like two and a half inches left in it. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just get this done with. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case, Mr. Flamen. I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montagamary's motion, but you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a beast smoker. <coughs> this harmless little contraption. This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone bee. Look at what has happened. To bees, we have never been asked. Smoking or none. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly... Addicted to smoke machines and man-made wooden slat work camps. Living out our lives as honey slaves to, a, to the white man. What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free the bees. 
free the bees, free the bees, free the bees. The court finds it in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew we can do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey we will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy per... per... my god. Prevent... Perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. <coughs> You'll reg regret this. Hold on, I'm gonna go get a drink. Well, while he's gone, I'm gonna keep keep you company with some nice ASMR. Hello, guys. This is um Mick Mark here. You should subscribe to my channel. It's mickmarkgaming.gov. Again, that's mickmarkgaming.gov. Actually, it's not gaming anymore. I changed it to mickmark. Fun fact, it used to be Mickmark Gaming, but that was a gay name, so I changed it. Matosh is probably never going to ever realize this, that this was in the video, because no one in their right minds would rewatch this video after watching it one time. Unless it is someone who wants to read the whole B movie script. But I don't know the reason why anyone else would do that. But he's never going to see this part. So for the record, Matausch, um, you, uh, you're a dingus. Yeah, I, I went there. I just call him a dingus. He's never going to see this, though. But you guys are, so can't tell him okay i'm still here so yeah you gotta wait so yeah how's, how's the weather down there it's pretty 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 nice All right, I'm back, Madur. Dude. All right. Where did I leave off? <clears throat> You'll regret this. Who run a legitimate business? Barry, how much money is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montag marries right? What do you mean? We have been living the B-Way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all B-Work camps. Then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with every last drop we demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy smelly bad bad ring bad breath stink machine we're all aware of what they do in the woods wait for my signal take him out he'll have a not nauseous for for a few hours then he'll be fine and we will no longer tolerate B negative nicknames, but it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey in bogus health products and La Dida human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. <coughs> Mr. Buswell, we just passed three cups and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball. <laughs> oh. 
We're shutting down honey production. Mission abort. Aborting poll pollination and nectar detail. <sighs> Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. They don't know what... They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. <clears throat> I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This? What happened here? This is not the half of it. Oh no. Oh my. They're all wait wil wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just <clears throat> it's not just flowers, fruits, ve vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole set test right there. Take away protus that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So there's no, no, no more pollination. It could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is all partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I was thinking you, stay, you step on me, that just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry, sorry, but I gotta get going. I have to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? They move to the final tournament of Rose's Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to the, this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant to... Uh, it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute, Roses? Roses? <laughs> Vanessa, Roses, Barry? <laughs> roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know, that's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry? Okay, I made a huge mistake. This was a to this is a total disaster. All my fault. Yeah, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought you were remodeling, but I have another idea. And it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official floral business, it's real. Sorry, ma'am, nice. Bruce? Thank you, it was a gift. Once inside, we w we just picked the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you can be the pea. Yes, got it. Where should I sit? Where, what are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a... Yes, go. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend it with traffic without arou arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no spot stopping us. Stop, security. You and your insect park your pack you your float? Yes, has it been in your possession the entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger, it's part of me. 
I know, just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then, if we're lucky, we'll have just enough Poland to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We just ha we have just enough Poland to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's gotta work. Attest <sighs> Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of a bad weather in, in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and, and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and your hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What did you say, Hal? Nothing. B, don't freak out. My entire species, what are you doing? Wait a minute, I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom and 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry. hurry. What happened here? There was a dustbuster, a 2P, Toby, and a life raft exploded. One spalled, one's in the boat, and they're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This was the JFK control tower, flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm the florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have the fl flying experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. Who? From the honey trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't uh, John Travola a pilot? Yeah. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from the JFK airport. Where a suspenseful, suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory, that's Barry, is attempting to land the plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated cap flight crew. Flowers? We have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite f familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account. Address. We've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small, but haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body ma mass we make no sense. Get this on the air. I got it. We stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees and to do small jobs doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized. To us, to everyone. That's why I, <clears throat> that's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Hover, forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So if it turns out, I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is if I do what, what I do. You copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate it with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone, I'm panicking. I can't do this. Ven Vanessa, pull it yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You have to snap out of it, snap out of it, snap out of it. You have to snap out of it, you have to snap out of it, you have to... Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion, occasion in there? The Poland jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow, hello? All right, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you have to think B, Barry. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Wait a minute. I'm f I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world is on the 
tarmac. Get some lights on that. Thinking bee, thinking bee, thinking bee. Vanessa, aim for the flower, okay? Uh, I'll out the engines. We're going in on bee power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good, easy. Now that's it. Land on that flower. Ready, full reverse. Spin around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at, aim, I'm aiming at the flower. There's a fat guy in the flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This, this is the only way I know how to fly. I am a Kukukachu, or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No, high five. Right. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. But thank you. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. Th th this runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. This means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make, who make honey pollinate flowers and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. This is our moment. Moment. What do you say? Are we going to the bees or just mu or just Museum of Natural History keychains? Or bees? Keychain. Then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah. I'm a Poland jock, and it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh yeah. That's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I've got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help? Uh, who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's all me. I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I f just feel like a... You have like a centimeter left. I know, I... You have like three actually, three centimeters. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I have no I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry, I'm late. He's a lawyer too. I was already a blood sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order. And I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is saving my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. A beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of the office. You have got to start thinking bee, my friend. Thinking bee? Me? Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during the production number. All right, take 10. Everybody wrap it up, guys. I have virtually no re rehearsal for that. We're done. Murka. Seriously? Yep. <laughs> One hour and 40 minutes. Okay, don't end the video. Don't end the video. <laughs> Can you believe that we just finished the whole B-movie script? My god. I'm never doing something well, like this. Huh? We're gonna upload this. Yeah, we are, like, right now, too. But wait, don't end the video. Why not? Because... <sighs> might be a stupid idea, but I have an idea. I'm what is it? it Alright, the comment which one read it better, and, um... <laughs> Uh, like the video and request dares in the comments. Oh boy. For us to do. <laughs> because we never get comments, and that would be really fun if we finally get a comment. <laughs> yeah, just comment something. Alright. Thank you for watching. See you next time. It's your closer. It's your closer. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time.